Lee boat Look up there. That. Look at that. Which one is it? The down button. Hello. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so, yeah, who am I? So, because James Michael on the Facebook group. So a lot of you probably don't recognise me from uh, from that. But yeah, Jamie Stenton. I'm a detective inspector, having joined in 2006. Literally can't believe it's that long ago, 15, 15 years. Um, but here's a few snaps of <laughs> me and what's important. <laughs> Service remaining, 28 days. I put that because it's, it's, a, uh, well, it's, it's a mindset thing, I think. A lot, of, um, a lot of cops, when you talk to them about how long they've got left, they'll tell you about years and you know, how long it is till they're 60 or how long it is till they're 30s. But for me, it really is a case of the minute I decide to go, I've got 28 days and I've actually got 24 rest days in loose. So the moment I'm <laughs> <laughs> the moment I chuck it in, I'm gone. Um, husband, there's my lovely wife there. She couldn't make it. She's on a weekend away uh, this weekend. Uh, dad of two absolute legends, centre of my universe down there. Love doing bits and pieces with them. Purple belt in jiu-jitsu. Coach of the great Paxton Panthers under nine. One seven nil today. <laughs> and uh, entry-level property investor, marketer and future CAO of Lilac James. And lover of dogs. It's an important <laughs> one. Where's Katie? There she is. <laughs> So why did I go into business? I'll explain. I don't know why I put that picture in. I just thought because it's because it's being because it's being filmed. That's my mum in the early 1970s, and I'm in business with my mum. And I thought it just th made me feel funny that she'll be watching this and see that I've put that picture in. So I don't know. I don't. That's literally the only reason it's in there. So uh, that's her winning something, third place in Butlin, Butlin's Bogner. Um, so why did I go into business? Well, I acted up to DCI. And I hated it. I absolutely hated the hours, the pressure, the diminishing returns in terms of um, the financial compensation that I was given for the extra responsibility. Um, so I decided to step back down. And um, when I stepped back down, I just felt flat. I'd always been looking up in, in uh, the police career. Always thought I'd go as far as I can in terms of where I was actually good and if I went too far then I'd come back down and um, and I wanted I wanted to give more I wanted to reach my potential and I knew that I wasn't going to do that where I was in the police so I had a big interest in it I was hoovering up books I was reading lots I wanted to have what I would have considered at the time as like a side hustle something else to sort of an interest to generate um, to generate another income and I was exploring lots of businesses until there was a moment in Lilac James when the family business went through a really hard time and two members of staff left within a relatively short space of time. And I'd sat down with mum and said, why don't I come into business and I'll, I'll help you out. I'll get experience and I'll be able to take that and I'll be able to do something else um, with the experience that I've gained. And then it turned out that I liked the business. I liked what we were doing. So I stayed. Um, so this is us. Lilac James, we're a marketing agency. We specialize in SEO, social media, organic and paid, and Google Ads. Uh, founded in 2008 as a marketing consultancy, my mum actually had a bit of a similar journey in terms of she was climbing a ladder and then got to a point where she looked down and thought, I don't want to be on this fucking ladder. So she stepped off and she started it as a marketing consultancy where she was just working from home. So she didn't really try and launch and grow the business because all she wanted was to have her chickens, grow some vegetables, have a few clients, work from home and have a really positive work-life balance. Um, as I've said, staffing issues in 2018 led me to joining and in 2019 I joined Shifter Success, April 2019. Um, but before I joined, <laughs> fuck me did I kiss some frogs when I was... <laughs> Well, honestly, when I was looking for business training and I was looking for, um, I, was, I, knew, I knew that I wasn't going to be able to do it on my own. I knew that I would need some support, some guidance, some help. So I was looking at business coaches, I was looking at uh, accelerators and some of the individuals in that space <laughs> were slime buckets who were over-promising, £12,000 courses, £15,000, £20,000 courses. Um, and then I found Alex and 
Robin and James and I internet stalked all of you and Sapna and, and uh, really went to town doing my, what I now know is the 7-Eleven 4, right? So I was going in and I was looking at the backgrounds and checking that everyone was legit and I was happy. And in hindsight, massive decision for me at the time to part with that amount of cash. I mean, my friends will take the piss and tell you that I'm tight. I'm not tight. <laughs> <laughs> but to part with that amount of cash on a business accelerator with no guarantees of returns other than you know the effort and the energy you put in yourself was a real big thing for me so the wins these pictures they won't they won't make a lot of sense to you but um top right this is where i was when i started and i was reading lots of books but what i found was i had a lot of knowledge but it was disorganized and chaotic in my head. I knew about a bit of email marketing, I knew a bit about Facebook ads, and I knew a bit about sales, and a bit about this, and a bit about that. Doo -doo -doo. But it was all just chaos, and what Shift to Success allowed me to do is organize that chaos into files. And the penny is the shiny penny, because I've had a couple of conversations with Alex over the years, where I've got, I've got another business idea, I'm gonna pursue it, and he's like, what the fuck are you doing? You've got this business here that's working, just invest in that. So. It stopped me chasing the shiny pennies. And now, when I was here, when I had all the organized information, I was just working really hard, working all times of the hours of the day. And I was burning out, but now I'm in a position where I know what I've got to do to grow the company. I know where I need to put my laser focus. And that is quite a powerful position because I'm, I'm more time free as a result. So the big win was personal development, meeting a great group of people, um, you all here. A lot of you just knowing online, but also my cohort three people, and of course the mentors and Alex. Um, the access to the high level mentors for me was the biggest, was the biggest thing. Um, and the Rico Arena is on another slide, and that was a really big client that we secured, but we had to go through a tender process and we had to do presentation and stuff. And just to give you just one example of how accessible and the value that um, the mentors added was um, I put something on the group, reached out and I said, we've got a tender process, we've got a presentation, like how, there was four other agencies, there was five in total, how do we make ourselves stand out? I really want this client. And I remember I was in the gym, I'd finished work after a 12 hour day and I was in the gym and um, a Facebook call comes in, it was James. And uh, James rang me and took me through it. This is how you make yourself stand out. And he gave me some really simple directions, some really simple stuff, and we won that client. And it was, it was worth, not, it was not just a good client for us, it was a good, um, it was a good confidence booster that we can go into those, those situations against big agencies. The utilization of the shift to success hive mind, asking the questions, getting the answers. I must have been really fucking annoying, like when I started, <laughs> just constantly asking questions every time I went in. Um, the options, 28 days notice, that's a big thing. I don't feel trapped, I feel free, I can go whenever I'm ready. Um, I've got a successful holiday let investment, year one, 18% return on capital investment. And it was that successful because of the strategies that I've been taught through this program, selling before we were ready. The moment that paperwork was inked, we were selling it and we were getting guests in there. We didn't wait until all the furniture had arrived and then slowly started. We started marketing it and we niched into certain people and that's why it was successful. And Lilac James saw a 400% profit compared to the year prior to Shift to Success in the year gone by. <laughs> um, and that was due to a range of factors. Systemization, so we could, we could just do more with the same amount. Uh, price increases, which Robin helped us out tremendously with just getting your prices up, how you articulate your value and all of that sort of stuff. Um, so actually, our, our revenue hasn't increased by 400%. We're just 400% profit increase. Um, but that's ultimately what matters. And a really big win for me is when my mum said to me about six months ago, this is the least stressed with the business that I have ever been. Um, and it's because of the systemization, because of the processes, because she can take all that noise out of her head. And it's, it's there, the reminders will pop up. So how has life changed? More time, more money, great prospects. Inspire the children with entrepreneurship. They no longer speak about the jobs they're gonna get, they speak about the businesses they're gonna run. Um, 
and think I know what I'm capable of and what I'm not yet capable of. So I, I, I feel more aware of my, my knowledge gaps. Building assets for the future. So my top tips for people on the course. Stop fannying around. <laughs> so, stop fannying around. Dive in. Get involved. Ask questions. Even if you think it's like... Uh, I, I, I feel like a lot of people, when they're new on the course, think, oh, I don't want to ask this question. It seems a bit silly. It seems a bit... Ask the question. Lean in. Do, learn, repeat. The people who are successful and have been, you know, like I said, since 2019, so a couple of years now, are the people that lean in, the people that just do, are they're prepared to fail, they're prepared to accept that failure so they can learn and they can move on and they can go into the next one. Um, ask questions, keep going, be vulnerable, doesn't matter, just be vulnerable. Um, you're with a really supportive group of people who will cuddle you when you need a cuddle. They'll give you the information when you need the information. They'll kick you up the ass when you need to kick up the ass as well. Invest in yourself, invest in your business. Shift to success isn't the end of your personal development. It's not the only investment that you need to make into your business. Um, build momentum and don't stop. Even if it's baby steps. Baby steps will get you closer to your goal um, than if you were taking no steps at all. Thank you.